It's the Battle of the Billionaires. Jeff Bezos and his army of underpaid Amazonians versus Elon Musk and his fleet of semi-intelligent cars. This is a two-player melee combat game designed for generating artificial intelligence using reinforcement learning and self-play. The rules of the game are simple. Players can move up, down, left, right, and attack. If a player attacks and the opponent is within range, one point is awarded. After attacking, there is a short cooldown period before the player can attack again, and the first player to 10 points wins the game. Machine learning is broken up into three categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is focused on the problem of how an agent should act in its environment to maximize some reward function, and it's commonly used in areas like robotics and games such as chess and go. Here's a diagram of how the model is trained using reinforcement learning. At some time step t, the agent takes an action, and that has an effect on the environment. So, for example, maybe the player in the game moves or they attack. Then an interpreter reads the environment and outputs a reward and state, which then updates the agent's action policy to increase the likelihood of receiving more reward in the future. In this game, a deep Q network, or DQN, is used to translate the state into an action. The elements of the state, or the features for the neural network, are the horizontal distance between players, vertical distance between players, player 1 x and y coordinates, player 2 x and y coordinates, whether or not the opponent is within attacking range, player 1 cooldown and player 2 cooldown. Here's the architecture of the neural network. The input layer consists of nine features for each of the previous eight time steps in the game. So some history was added to give the model context for recent events. The next layer is a fully connected layer with 32 neurons, followed by 16 neurons, eight neurons, and finally the output layer with six neurons each of which correspond to the possible actions in the game. So again, moving up, down, left, right, attacking, or just doing nothing. Training is broken up into five generations. Generation one was trained by playing against an opponent that took purely random actions. In this model, learned a strategy where it just attacked. Generation 2 was then trained by playing against Generation 1, and it learned to move into attack while also avoiding attacks from Generation 1. Generation 3 was trained by playing against Generation 2, and it learned how to effectively counter Generation 2's strategy. Then Generation 4 was trained, and it learned how to move in the Y direction and attack from below. Then generation 5 was trained, and by this point, the agent was becoming fairly sophisticated. But is it sophisticated enough to defeat a human player? Let's find out. So I'm on the left, and the AI is on the right. And indeed, it was able to beat me, which is pretty cool.